So the interest we have is coming from the fact that the neurotransmitter dopamine is deficient in patients with uh, Parkinson's disease and therefore if Gaucher disease is a risk factor for developing um, Parkinson's disease then it makes sense to look at the dopamine levels. So we've developed a cell culture model system and I presented work showing that in that system when you have compromised lysosomal function at the level of the enzyme that's missing in Gaucher disease, glucocerebrosidase, you actually disrupt the cell's ability to metabolize dopamine. And so the hypothesis that we're generating is that the failure of the lysosome may lead downstream to failure of dopamine levels, and that is a contributing factor, because that's the key neurotransmitter that's missing in Parkinson's. And the other little spin to the story is that mitochondria seem to be involved as well. So mitochondria are thought of as the powerhouse of the cell. For many years we've known that there's a deficiency in mitochondria in patients with Parkinson's and actually it seems now that these two organelles, the lysosome and the mitochondria, actually have an influence on each other and if you impair one of them it has an effect on the other one and actually either or can cause a deficiency in dopamine. So it's sort of coming together in our mind that loss of lysosomal function and or loss of mitochondrial function leads ultimately to a failure of the dopamine pathway and that's a contributing factor to Parkinson's. So that's in a nutshell. <laughs> in science the story's never finished um, because I think we're right at the very start of um, an interesting area for us to work in. So we've now demonstrated that if you impair say the lysosome or the mitochondria or both you have an effect on the ability of the cell to generate and metabolize dopamine. But we know those, there's an, uh, an association, we don't know the exact mechanisms. And we're using a cell culture model. So now we've got to take that further, refine them, the methodology, use more sophisticated techniques to look at more neuronal-like cells, to get a much more deeper understanding into what's actually the metabolic um, sequence of events in a chain of, of events, actually.